Hi there. Welcome to Bear Talk Channel. I'm Bear, a product designer and podcaster who lives and works in Auckland, New Zealand. As a designer, I used to use a lot of device mockups to present my design. Is it good? Unlikely. In this video, I'm going to share an article that I read about this topic and also some of my personal tips about how we present our design in the right format. Let's jump into it. Right, now I'm uh, locking a circle uh, and you can see my screen, which is uh, at the first one, at the first slide is uh, the article that I mentioned in the beginning of this video. So I read this article a few weeks ago uh, by uh, sorry, uh, by Tina Remis, uh, another product designer and published on prototyper.io, which titled The Three Reasons Why I Start Stopped Using Design Markups to Present My Work, and I Feel Quite Resonate. Also, as a design mentor, some of my students ask me uh, these questions, ask me this question, and also I noticed that they use a lot of time and effort on selecting the device mockups to present their design, which I think is not the right way to, to do that. So from this video, it mentioned that uh, there are uh, the reason that why we use it. And I think that's quite resonate. The first one is that your design in instantly comes to life. Right, so when you put your design in an iPhone frame or in a web browser, and it looks, looks much better than original file. And the other thing is that it facelifts uh, the latest device, so it feels that you feel uh, it builds some connection with your design and those top uh, world class level, you know, digital de equipments. So like iPhone or uh, latest MacBook, but it also mentioned that some reason that why we shouldn't use it. So first, it get uh, they get out of date quickly. So this is something we we know that um, first, if you use iPhone six in a few years ago when it just launched, wow, it re looks really good. But now nobody will see it. No, uh, anyone who see it as a presentation, we will say, oh, this is so outdated. And the other reason is that it sets some unrealistic expectations about your work. So I think that's pretty much the most important thing that you should not use your uh, use the device mockups because it's just feel other people might feel, oh, it looks better, uh, but actually it's increased the expectation about your design. And uh, don't get me wrong, I mean, uh, expectation is always good. High expectation is always good. But it's not, should not be distracted from device uh, mockups. So it's all, it should focus on your design. And the other thing is, um, the, uh, which got us to the third point. So uh, they distort your perception of your own work. So it might make you feel, oh, this is something I should do differently. And also like uh, most of the users might not use the latest devices and maybe they are still using uh, Windows laptop for their work. So if you're presented in a latest Safari browser template, it seems not right, not the right uh, uh, amount of uh, customers who's using your product and from the other part is how we're going to present it in the best uh, in the best way so uh, Tina she mentioned that there are two ways for example if you're using um, if you're using um, the if you're doing the web uh, web page design we can uh, use a like a drop shadow to help visually evaluate elevate the design from the background so it's uh, it, it, it didn't need to 
do all the frames or the markups. Just use some uh, like shadow to pop it out. And the other thing, if for, if it's for mobile device, just to add a round corner, and then people will realize because uh, from no matter what iOS or Android, like round corner is something that could be uh, thought as a as a standard or as a right format that customer will recognize oh this is for mobile so this is something she suggested and back to me my personal experience for this one is that um, yeah don't waste too much time on selecting the right format uh, of the of the markups so before uh, i used to present my design or the fun uh, the um, like uh, like the uh, like the left one and the right one so I just put my design in the right frame and present it like this but even though in the, in that time I didn't realize uh, like the, the the disadvantage and advantage of using uh, device markups but still I feel that I should not use those markups to uh, distract the attention from my uh, customers or clients so on the right one you might notice that i use a really simple and uh, easy recognizing uh, shape that to present uh, my my design so that it will be not distracted but now here's what i do with a few things with a few tips the first tip is that if you're using some third party app for example this is the the app I'm using it's not a f affiliation by the way uh, it's just a, a tool that I feel really good so I recommend uh, Rotato so this is a mock-up tool so when you finish the design you can drag your um, your video or the image uh, to that template and you can show in uh, a device uh, frame so there are some universal um, generic or universal generic uh, phone uh, in a uh, phone mockup in this this app so that you can drag this uh, the image and it seems okay not specifically on iOS or Android but it's just on the uh, on a mobile device and the same template is also works so yeah this is something I'm using and uh, the other way what I also suggest is to personalize your mockup. For example, if you're doing web design, uh, a lot of time and <clears throat> you have multiple projects about web design and you're going to present it to different clients. How about just invest some time to build your own mockup? For example, the right, uh, the left one is something I learned from other designer, but also I build my own. Uh, like just use this uh, simple um, web browser to uh, to present any design I want to present. Yeah, and also like on the right one is an uh, is from a web template, but you can also see from the top uh, top right icons buttons. I can easily recognize. Oh, this is a web browser, right? So yeah, that's about this topic stop using markups to present your design and how we're gonna do it in a better way i hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it please uh, leave your comment or just um, if you haven't subscribed this channel please do and i will see you in another video bye